smartphones. There are a lot of them out there, but which handset is the best you can buy right now in 2015? Here's our rundown of the top 10 devices you can get your hands on. You might be wondering why this relatively unknown device is sitting in our list of best smartphones in the world. Well, it's simple. The OnePlus One has all the power, specs and functionality of the top dogs, plus super customizable software, but does it all at nearly half the price. In fact, the only things it's really missing are a micro SD slot and removable battery, plus the design is fairly bog standard. It's essentially what the Nexus range used to be, and if Google ditches that program, then thankfully OnePlus has shown there will be companies willing to pick up the slack. The Moto X feels like a smaller smartphone, despite packing a 5.2 inch screen in an aluminium frame, as the front is mostly all bezel. That Super AMOLED screen is one of the standout features here, and it also boasts the Motorola Active Display, which lets you wave your hand over the screen to see vital info and then press to preview messages. It's not got all the bells and whistles of most smartphones, it's lacking microSD and the camera could be better, but as a day-to-day -day device it's very strong, and is priced better than the competition. Sony's Xperia Z3 may have arrived a little too soon after the Z2, with not a huge amount of upgrades, but it's still a very nice phone. The design is slimmed down, the display is insanely bright, and you've still got all those lovely Sony perks like Bravia Tech in the screen and improved audio output. Sadly, the camera still packs some of the inconsistencies we'd hoped would have been ironed out by Sony, and the user interface is a little bland. That said, with PS4 Remote Play now enabled, it's bounced up the rankings slightly. The Nexus 6 finally brought a half-decent camera to the range, but it's also sadly no longer a super cheap superphone. It does have an excellent screen, a beefy Snapdragon 805 chipset to run nearly anything you want, and the media capabilities are excellent. Plus, it will be getting all the latest Android upgrades thanks to being Google's flagship handset. The only possible downside is that it's got a whopping 5.96 inch screen, placing it firmly in the phablet camp, so if you prefer a smaller phone, it may be worth looking at the Moto X instead. The Xperia Z3 Compact is less powerful and with a lower risk screen than its bigger brother, so why is it higher up the list? The reason is that it contains almost all the power of the larger model, but with a smaller body and lower price. This includes PS4 Remote Play, a 207 megapixel camera and the clear IPS LCD screen with Bravia technology. It's got it all and it's much, much nicer to hold. So unless you want the brightness of the Full HD screen, nearly every other feature is in this smaller phone, meaning it will have less impact on your pocket, both literally and figuratively. While the iPhone 6 Plus isn't quite as impressive as the smaller version, the first Apple phablet is full of things to love. The Plus takes all the best bits of the iPhone 6, design, UI, camera performance, and adds to those an even better camera, a Full HD screen and a much larger battery. The drawbacks are few, but pivotal. It's harder to hold in one hand thanks to being a little too wide, plus it's a lot more expensive. But with the same internal power, great graphical performance and access to Apple's strong media and app library, this tablet phone hybrid is perfect for those that can't decide between the two formats. With Samsung's Galaxy Note 4, the main thing is the screen. Super AMOLED technology combined with QHD resolution means a pin-sharp display, and one that we just can't take our eyes off. The camera is nice, the power is next-gen, and the whole thing is backed up by the ever more useful S Pen to help you clip and jot all day. While it's got a big hold over the LG G3 in many ways, it can't compete on price with its South Korean rival, and unfortunately that's the big drawback for this phablet. The LG G2 was a strong, well-made phone that didn't cost a huge amount of money. So for the G3, LG went one better and put in what was at the time the world's sharpest display. It's a 5.5 inch QHD screen, which means it's got four times the pixels of some phones on this list. Although with those extra pixels packed in, the display is a bit darker than others on the market. The features include a removable battery, micro SD slot, laser-based autofocus, improved design, and an overhauled and simplified UI. It is going to be a bit big for some hands, so we're verging on phablet territory here. The iPhone 6 is a real step forward for Apple, and a phone that's a joy to use, hold and feel. It's got all the same ingredients that make iPhone special, and while it doesn't excel in any given part of the smartphone recipe, except perhaps when it comes to the interface, which with iOS 8 is probably the best out there with its clever mix of intuition and simplicity, it just works. The camera is lower res, but fast, bright and easy to use. The screen may be low res compared to the phones around it, but pops and fizzes with colour and brightness. Price, however, is where it really falls behind the competition. What to say about the HTC One M8? The follow-up to the all-conquering HTC One takes the best of that phone and yet still reinvents things enough to make it a massive recommendation over the old model. We love the speed of the camera, the boom sound upgrade is impressive, the duo camera is smart, and the design, well, you just have to hold it. The Snapdragon 801 processor has boosted battery dramatically and also means that photos process much more quickly as well. Even the front-facing camera is better. 
If we were to criticise the One M8, it would be the camera's lack of a megapixel upgrade, which means pictures are a little less sharp than they might otherwise be, and the bright light performance isn't top. But these flaws make it a better day-to-day -day snapper thanks to a great shutter speed. So there you have it. The Samsung Galaxy Note 4 and the Xperia Z3 both failed to take the top spot, and the iPhone 6 didn't manage the feat either. So the big question now is whether the HTC One M9 can actually get much better than this. What's your favourite smartphone? Let us know in the comments, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more tech news, reviews and features.